Hello, I'm Kathleen Murphy, your Superintendent of Schools for Supervisory Administrative Unit number 90 in Hampton, and I would like to provide a brief update on the accomplishments of the past year and provide you with a glimpse of the future plans for the district. Over the last 12 months, much attention has been devoted to addressing the social and emotional needs of our students. The professionals in the district have recognized this as a priority, and given the many challenges our students face, let me give you a few examples of those challenges. The opioid crisis has impacted numerous members of our families. The children have either lived with the horrors of addiction or forced to be removed from the care of their parents. We have seen an increase in the violent episodes that our children have witnessed and then carry the trauma that is associated with events like that into the classroom. The, the effects of untreated, undiagnosed mental health has also posed challenges for our students as well as the professionals in the district who serve those youngsters and families. In response to these social and emotional issues, the staff has received training and consultation to help the students. The school board recognizes the need to support the students and authorized a counselor to support the social emotional needs of the students. Members of the Hampton team have been active in securing additional funds to support the work in the schools. This year, grants have assisted with school safety, upgrades, training and support in science, funds to enhance the skills of members of our leadership team and support students displaced by severe weather, and most recently to a grant to collaborate with UNH to increase the workforce in trauma-related areas. Hampton is a very special community. We continue to have strong partnerships and relationships with community agencies, local businesses, as well as our parents and guardians. I extend my sincerest thanks to the PTA, the Seacoast Youth Families, Family First, our private preschools, local businesses, University of New Hampshire and Southern New Hampshire University, civics ordination like Rotary Club and Lions Club, the Masons. I can't, and then I can't even begin to acknowledge that the town government does to support the schools and the families we serve. We are grateful for all of the support we receive from the departments. The cooperation ranges from the welfare office to helping homeless families to the fire and police who assist us in safety drills and always helping at schools to the road crews at the public works who keep our schoolyards and sidewalks open. I'm afraid I might miss a department, but kudos to the Public Library and Recreation Department for the excellent after-school programs that, that are provided. Only second in importance to safety is the curriculum assessment work we do each day in and out of the classroom. This year we saw improvements in the area of math and science performance as reported in the state assessments that are administered in the spring of 2018. Our teaching staff has focused on the foundational skills but enhanced the work with hands-on tasks to the delight of our students. For the task past 10 months, curriculum focus has been on integrated arts, physical education, and library science. The competencies in these areas have been aligned to state and national standards and conform to local priorities. As we finish the school year, the district is working on a new three to five year plan for the district. The plan will help guide and provide direction for the school community as we participate what is over the horizon, the district is faced with challenges that will need our attention. The challenging demographics of school population, the demands of resources for special education, the importance of data security, and lastly, the preparation and support required for school safety. As your school superintendent, I feel quite fortunate to be supported by a community that sees education as essential to the town and is viewed as a common good. The successes occur because SAU 90 has five school board members who support students and families as well as the 290 plus employees who work in various capacities to educate and provide for the needs of children. This year we are seeing six members of our staff who are retiring to take new journeys. They represent over 120 years of experience. Thank you to our reading expert, Ann Klaus. Special Education teacher, Mrs. P. Tantonio, Middle School Social Studies teacher, Mrs. Irene Grand, and Middle School teacher in English, uh, Mrs. Pastor, and Math teacher, Mrs. McDonald, and Mrs. Beth Maloney, Registered Nurse over at Center School. The leadership team is to be commended for all they do to lead, manage, operate vibrant environments for learning. 
<clears throat> who could possibly close without talking about our students who come to school every day, about 96% attendance rate, to participate, explore, engage, and learn life lessons. They represent our community very well. And when they leave on field trips or overnight trips, the feedback we receive is excellent. And in addition, they are often act involved in acts of kindness, the, and those are important everyday lessons. I thank you for the opportunity to serve this school district. Thank you.